Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. Want to take a second to welcome you to Monday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. Where we're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today's broadcast with this. How do you know whether or not you're really trusting the Lord? And how do you know whether or not you're really in faith? Well, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says this, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. Now that word substance means confidence. Now faith is the confidence of things hoped for. And that word hope there means an expectation, a confident expectation. So you could read that verse like this. Now faith is the confidence of your expectation. So in real faith, there are these two things. There's confidence and there's an expectation. If you don't have any confidence and if you don't have an expectation, then you don't really have faith. And if you are in faith, then you are very confident that what you're expecting will come to pass. Now, religion has always struggled with confidence. It's always struggled with assurance. And you'll hear even believers say things like, well, you just never know what may happen. We're praying and hoping that this happens. Friend, that kind of hope is nothing more than wishing. And it is not faith because there's no expectation and there's no confidence. Now, I'm going to read you three verses. And as I do, I want you to listen for confidence, listen for an expectation, because in these verses that we're reading, you're going to see real faith. 1 Samuel 17 Verse 48, David said this to Goliath. He said, the Lord will deliver you into my hand. I will smite you and take your head from you. The Lord will give you into our hands. Come on, friend. Do you hear confidence? Do you hear expectation in that? And then in Psalm 91, the psalmist said, a thousand shall fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You can hear it again. There's confidence there. There's expectation there. There's an expectation that what is coming on others won't come on you. And when he says it will not come near you, you can hear confidence in that expectation. And then in Daniel chapter three, right before the three Hebrews were getting ready to be thrown into the fiery furnace, they said this to King Nebuchadnezzar. They said, if it be so, if you throw us in, Our God, who we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and He will deliver us out of your hand, O King. So here again, we hear confidence, we hear expectation. The expectation is we're going to be delivered if you throw us in, and you can hear the confidence in that because they said, our God will deliver us. So in all three of those instances, you had an expectation And then you had confidence that that expectation would come to pass. So in those three instances, those people were really in faith. Now, here's the key thing. The expectation that you have in your life has to come from something God said to you. In other words, if God didn't say it to you, then you have no reason or no right to expect that it would come to pass in your life. For instance, the reason that those three Hebrews could say, our God will deliver us, is because in Isaiah 43, 2, God said this. He said, when you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. So you see, their confidence and their expectation was based on something that God said. And faith is always based on something that God said to you. If God didn't say it to you, then you have no reason to confidently expect that it will come to pass. And this is why people struggle with faith so often is because they haven't heard from the Lord. And if you haven't heard from the Lord, then you have no reason to confidently expect that this or that would come to pass. But friend, once you've heard from the Lord on it, once you've seen it in the written word of God, you can be confident that the expectation that you have based on what God said, that it will come to pass. And you can believe confidently and you can speak confidently 
and you can declare it boldly that God will deliver me, that I am healed from the top of my head to the soles of my feet, that I will walk in victory, that I will overcome, you can talk boldly, you can talk confidently, and you can talk faith, just like those three examples that we gave you in Scripture. So how do you know whether or not you're really in faith? Because you have an expectation and you're confident that what you're expecting will come to pass. As we're closing today's broadcast, friend, I want to remind you of these three things. Number one, to have faith that is real, there must be confidence and there must be an expectation. Number two, religion has always struggled with confidence, but in real faith, there's always bold confidence. And number three, your expectation that you have has to come from something that the Lord said to you. Let's pray. Father, Lord, I thank you for everybody watching the broadcast today, Lord. And we all desire to really trust you and to walk in real faith. So today, Lord, we're going to get our expectation from your word. And when we do, we're going to be confident that what you said will come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for watching today's broadcast. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Tuesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.